Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Monday night livery designer uh, 101, I guess. Um, can we do a quick sound check before we start? Make sure you can all hear me. Um, I hope you can. Make sure it's nice and clear, no echoes for a change. Hello, hello, hello. See lots of hellos now. I think the chat is a little bit delayed, um, so. Sorry about that. Good. Sounds good. Sound is good. Excellent. Um, so before we get started, um, I did notice a comment from, um, who was it? John Caravatos. And you asked whether um, or not we pay attention to the suggestions on the forums. We definitely do. Um, and if there's something you'd like in the game, please do head over to the forums. Uh, put your suggestion in. I know you said you have already. Um, it might not feel like sometimes uh, we're paying attention to it but we definitely are everything in there um, gets noticed it gets logged um, the more detailed you can be with your suggestion the better now on to the livery designer um, stuff for tonight I've had a couple of suggestions from people or requests should I say from people on the forums um, so I'm gonna give the chat a choice of three tonight and you can decide which one you like the sound of the most um, and as always, I will make something similar, um, but never the same as real life, because otherwise I'd get myself in trouble. Um, apparently last time I probably shouldn't have done the, um, the underground logo. Somebody, somebody messaged me, uh, very kindly and told me that I shouldn't have done it because apparently even the logo itself is, um, copyrighted. So, oops. Uh, right. The choices for tonight are Merseywell. Uh, somebody requested it, the one with the tiger stripes, which I believe is the class 508. I'd love to do that one because I literally used to go on that one. Uh, you also have a choice of Trans Pennine Express or London Midland. Uh, so let me know in the chat what you would like me to create this evening. Um, okay, some people say Mersey Vale. have a look who else london midland okay okay london midland london midland i think i know which one's gonna be the most popular oh uh, the trans pen i express it i must say i did like because it was just beautiful um but yes i do read all suggestions um class three on four fan yes you uh suggested them and um yeah i'll uh do at least one of them uh, London Midland, Transpennine, Miserale, Miserale, uh, London Midland. I think London Midland is currently the most popular. So what I'll do is, say I do London Midland tonight, I'll do the next most popular, which I believe is the Pennine Express, and we'll do save that one for another night, shall we? So we'll do London Midland tonight. I'm just going to write it down. Um... Now, is there a particular loco uh, for London Midland that you would like to see me create? Because there's quite a lot of them. Um, and from what I'm seeing, there's lots of different liveries as well. I assume it's like the greeny one you, you, you'd like. Um, so the 377, 375, 465, uh, 377. Okay, a lot of people saying 377. Uh, Three nine four six five four six five. Let's have a look. I'll have a look at both of them. Four six five. Mm. Three seven seven. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do three seven seven. I quite like the the greeny one. Um, like. Uh, the three, yeah. Okie dokie. Right, let's get into it. Um, oh, look, there's a new shelf for today. Uh, the original LM livery, so the one with the lime green. Okay. 
just having a look um, for a reference picture. Oh, oops. Welcome. <laughs> I meant to click on tools and I accidentally. Clearly, I haven't played enough uh, Hamburg yet. Alright, livery. Um, right. Alright, which. Which. Um, Loco should we use to best represent it? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not playing Hamburg. I just haven't done the tutorial before. Let's have a look. Three, seven, five. Let's have a look. Three. Okay. Um. So. The four six five again. It would be quite good, wouldn't it? Because it's quite boxy. <laughs> Can I do the 314? I'm not doing the 314 because I don't even know if I'm allowed to do the 314 at the moment. I feel like if I did, I'd probably get myself in trouble. Um, so, no, just in case I'm not allowed to, to the 314. And I don't think it would work for this anyway. Yeah, there is an option to turn off auto load scenarios, and I think that's definitely um, something I should do because. I, I think I don't think it's the first time I've done that. Uh, right. So um, right, let's have a look. Which one are we doing? The three seven, the three seven seven. Some people are saying is is that does it already exist? Um, I think I know the one you're on about. I'm trying to get a decent picture of it, if I'm completely honest. It's quite hard to find a reference picture. Right, let's do 377 then. Is it that one? Let's go for London. Confirm. Yeah, tell you what, class three on foot, send me a reference so I can use yours. It was your idea in the first place. Um, let's do the one that you'd like to do. Um, Let's change the background. There we go. Yeah, uh, sorry if there's a bit of um, a delay between me answering questions and stuff. Um, I'm currently using the restream, so it's a bit it's a bit slow tonight. Uh, Cs says, I have a question. What is your question, Cs? Uh, laser jet natalie did i see the class 314 in the livery designer list yes you did um somehow i don't actually know how um i have access to kafka early i don't know how that happened um somebody obviously gave it to me early so yes uh what livery am i doing i'm going to be doing the um london midland i believe it was the 377 that was uh decided on and I'm just waiting on a reference picture from somebody in the chat who suggested the idea. So I'm gonna gonna do it exactly the way they'd like it. Well, sort of. Similar, same design, different colors. Um, I was gonna do it with um, the PlayStation controller tonight because I know that's been asked for in the past. Um, I've given it a go on the PlayStation controller in all honesty, but I'm not very confident with it at the moment. Um, so I'm going to give that a little bit more practice uh, before I start streaming with it um, because <laughs> at the moment I just keep like flying from one end of the screen to the other or turning it around too quickly. Uh, so with a bit more practice um, 
I'll get using the controller and then um, and then I'll show you well do my best to show you how to use it um, somebody said they have a question um, Foxes gaming you have a question ask your question what is your question and the gamer girl says I'm doing a Scott Rail livery on the 377 that's great um, I hope that some of you um, get some use out of these streams and things like that so that um, you can you can use it oh yeah it is yeah um, so that yeah you can use the the tool better yourselves um, so I've got my reference picture which is great what I'm gonna do this time apparently the reason for the yellow front is actually a safety thing which I wasn't aware of before now um, so I will do the yellow front but everything else will be a different colour. And as always, I'll let you lot um, decide what colour you'd like. And um, yeah, I'll just get on with it. So the top is... Right, let's do the yellow sides first. Lovely. When will you see Rush Hour streams? Um, Rush Hour streams... I have no date for you on them. Um, but you will get like plenty of um you'll get plenty of warning beforehand uh, so so don't worry about that uh right let's go for uh this shape confirm and we'll do yellow like a golden yellow now everybody um so the colours we've got are a sort of lime green underneath the windows and then another green by the doors. So um, what colour do you want that? Um, let's go. Have I always been into railways or has it been a recent thing for me? So... Anybody who's uh, seen me since I started here at Dovetail, I had little to no knowledge um, about trains. Um, my favourite train is a um, is a, isn't even a real train. It's the Hogwarts Express. Um, but since starting, I've tried really, really hard um, to learn more about trains and to learn more about the community and stuff like that. And I must say, um, as, as although I might not be an enthusiast like some of the people within the community, um, I'm definitely enjoying it. And um, the community has been absolutely lovely. I've learned loads. I find it also interesting. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's uh, my story into rail fanning. How many years have I been working at Dovetail? So I've actually only been at Dovetail for about... Uh, Let's see, nine, no, eight months now, I think. Um, but yeah, it's it's been great. What am I doing? I meant to copy it. I'm rusty. Definitely rusty. Um, Natalie, the Hogwarts train actually exists. I went to the Harry Potter world and saw it. That, yeah, so did I. But, um... It's, I was talking to Jamie about it and he said that it's a castle and it a castle train or something and it's not supposed to be um, so yeah but um, I saw it at the uh, the the studios as well and I loved it um, I'm currently making liveries for Clinchfield Railroad one box car and one three bray hopper as Western Maryland also found that's great. I love um, looking, there's a thread in the forums of everybody's liveries and sometimes I'll go in there and just see what everybody's made. Um, also gives me some inspiration from time to time. Right. Well, I'm being silly tonight. Copy. Edit. Let's go turn it around. Uh, will you make an option to step over the live rails and if we do step on it why aren't the consequences the game should re yeah i agree um 
sees that um, that's a, that would actually be a nice feature. Um, I can't promise that would happen, uh, but I would recommend putting that in the suggestions on the forums, um, and then we can log the idea because it is a really good one. I agree. Um, if people are stepping on to live rails, that should be, um, like you said, a, a, a safety reason to, to fail. Um, has, please Northern Rail 101 many question marks. I will write that down as a suggestion. I think we did a Northern one, uh, they're not that long ago. Um, so that's not going to be top of the list of uh, liveries to create in the future. Um, as a replacement for the green colours on the LM livery, can we have them as red and purple instead? Yeah, if um, yeah, if everybody likes that, that's definitely something we can do. Those are some nice colours. Normally, I just go with the DTG blue, if I'm honest. <laughs> right, let's move this one slightly more. I'm going to try not to be too finicky tonight because um, I have a dreadful habit of doing that where I'm like, I'm not going to try and be too perfect with it and then I just keep moving it slightly, slightly every time. Right. Um, let's add a shape. Let's go for this one. So, uh, let's make it black. So, so let's talk. Can we have Penn Central for train some work? As we all know, it's the best railroad. Hey, any suggestions, take it over to the forums. Um, I'm pretty sure the mods have... Oh, there you go. As I say, it, it gets posted in the chat. Thank you very much. Um, right, I can't be too precious with this tonight. Let's go... Control make it a bit smaller and if you have any questions while I'm doing this about the um, editor or if there's something you want to see me create please do ask um, and I'll do my best to try and create it I was gonna try and play about with weathering tonight but I think I need to practice more on that because I still haven't figured out how to do it um, Mark Covington, I've always wondered why the trains are yellow at the front. Yeah, I didn't realise it until I started doing this, that literally the front is always yellow or nearly always yellow. And then um, I, th I think somebody told me in the chat or somebody told me in, in one of my private messages on the forums that um, it's a safety it's a safety reason, it's, it, which makes perfect sense really, doesn't it? It's very bright, everybody can see it coming towards you. Looks ridiculous. Yes, at the moment it looks ridiculous, but hopefully it won't stay ridiculous. Normally, when I first start, they look an utter mess, and then towards the end it actually looks decent. So let's hope we can achieve that again. Or at least somewhat decent. Alright, let's go. So about there... I want to sort out this bit up here, so I'll do that in a moment. Um, place. And then I'm going to make the top black the same, and then I'll just make everything else a different colour. So the doors, um, the, um, like the shapes and stuff like that. Uh, Can we put on the front 350, 124? Is that what... Yeah, I can try and do that, definitely. Absolutely. I assume that's what number it should be. Oh, look at that. I hate it when it does that. It's only done that on that side. I'm going to have to tidy this up a bit. Hmm... Right, 
I'm going to keep that like that for now and then I'll cover it with um, what would be the green later. Um, we'll go a bit more detailed. Um, have I had a drive for the 314 since you got it on your train sim world 2? No, I actually didn't realise I had it until I turned the computer on this morning. I'll probably have a go of it tomorrow. Right, uh, what base colour do we want? Because the base colour is actually exactly the same as the one, um, the original one. So we're going to want to change that. We're not doing pink. Uh, everybody always suggests pink, something other than pink that you think will go with maybe like a red and purple um, colour scheme. So I'm going to do the black on the roof and while I do the black on the roof everybody can decide what colour scheme we're going with. Right. Orange. Orange? Are you sure orange? Blue. <laughs> Couple of blues. Orange. Blue. Currently, orange and blue are the most popular. Why orange? I mean, honestly. Um. Select. Top. Because blue, blue. Okay, blue is a much nicer choice than orange. I think it's going to be blue. Do we want DTG blue or or like an electric blue or um, different kind of blue? Let's see. Sky blue, DTG blue, dark blue. Oh, everybody wants something different. Okay. Actually, looking at it, this is a bit there. Because it kind of sneaks up the top. Um, okay, let's do that. DTG blue. <laughs> Blue passport. Right, let's move it down slightly. Make it a bit. Oops. I will push the wrong buttons many, many times as well, in case this is your first time watching it. Um, and after a while, I'll get better. The front, I definitely need to work on. Um, that's coming down a bit more than I want it to. There. How does that look? Okay, the top looks all right. Place. And then you all said blue. Uh, DTG and dark blue. Can't do that. Dovetail blue. Uh, some people said like turquoise. I feel like a pale blue would work because then you've got like say the pale colour and then like the dark um, extras. So I think I might go for a pale blue um, just so it's not too much. Uh, let's go to uh, that's too no not keen on that one. Oof. What do we think of that one? I oh, quite like that one. Do we like that blue? Nice blue. Everybody happy with this blue? Yeah, that's really nice. Mm, like that blue. It's quite it is quite a nice blue, isn't it? Yeah, okay, we're happy with this blue. Right, see here, this upsets me because it needs to be yellow. And let's figure out how to get it looking a bit. See, it's not very smooth either. Normally, I like it a lot smoothly. Like, you can actually see the edges. I'm not happy about that. Okay, so I'm going to do some tweaking. Uh, 
uh, what shape do I want? Do you know what? I reckon I could do like a half moon shape and then just put it behind that one. Let's see how that works. So I'll copy this one and then edit it, but make it yellow and then confirm. And then yeah. make it bigger place, get it up here, move, and move, edit, right. Why do you hate me? Do you know what? I'm using the wrong button. Uh, there we go. There we go. How's that look? That's better. But that needs a nice straight side. And so does this one. Um, it's hard to do the livery editor on controller. Yeah, um, Bakugo, I'm definitely finding that myself. Um, I've been practicing with it. Um, actually, don't want that one. Let's do a new one. But yeah, I've been practicing with um, using the controller myself, and, and it's definitely... Um, not as straightforward as I'd anticipated. Um, but I think with a bit of practice I'll get there and then hopefully once I'm more confident with it um, I can show you guys how to use it a bit more. Ooh. Stop that. It takes a lot of, um, like, fiddling to get it to do it the way you want it. Um, right, that's the shape I want. I need to get it to go higher up now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> honestly, um, dog god just keep practicing uh keep practicing with delivery editor and eventually it'll start to get a lot easier for you to use if you're not confident with it took me ages to get used to it and i think ooh, anybody who's been following these streams will uh see my progression let's go slowly slowly Let's go down. There, that that's good enough. Oh my gosh. Alright, place. Copy. Let's go over to the other side. I am probably wasting layers as well doing this. Um so I would recommend like there's I'm just doing it for the sake of the stream to get something to look decent um, towards the end of the stream. But I would recommend like um, use your layers as best as you can. Um, because before you know it, if you're doing a, if you're doing a full train, um, you'll run out in no time. Go a bit bigger and then move it slightly. That's better. That's better. Right. That looks much better, doesn't it? I know it's not perfect, like obviously this is very clearly a half moon shape compared to um the actual livery. Um 
but you can see the idea and if I had more time I'd obviously smooth that out a little bit more um, right next on to the doors uh, which are normally grey um, has anybody got a request for what colour you'd like the doors and while you decide on the door colours I'll do the numbers on the front although I forgot what numbers you asked for um, it was 350 something so I'll do the 350 green or red doors green Okay. okay. Mm. <laughs> Neon green. Oof. Uh, text. Let's go. Oh, was it? Was it three fifty? Three fifty? Three fifty one two four. Thank you. Select. Uh, purple, purple doors, purple doors, purple doors it is. Right. Um, oh, there needs to be an orange stripe on the top as well. Okay, that's something we'll... Three... Oh, am I going to have space for it? I'm going to have to make space. Uh, this is why I need that. I might have to change that in a minute. Place text. <laughs> Three. Actually, I'm going to go back uh, to make sure they're all the same shape. What I'm going to do is copy it and edit it. No, that's not the way to do it. Copy it and then decal something. Select and then I can just move it over slightly. Three, three fifty, one, two. Uh, do we know? So, there we go. Both sides, both sides. So, on, yep, yeah, okie dokie. Let's, um, let's group them and copy it. And let's put it over to the other side. Lovely. And there we go. That's the numbers. Now, uh, the door colours everyone chose was purple. Everyone chose purple. Okay, purple it is. Now, let's do... Should we do a dark purple? Everybody seems to enjoy very um, bright colours. Let's go for a purple. Oof. Do we want a very dark purple? Rio, you hate purple. Oh, I'm sorry. Just don't look at the doors. Can we have a lilac purple? Uh, should we go for a... Pen Central purple. What kind of purple is Pen Central, um, Chegg? 
Um, let's go a little bit. Should we go for that kind of purple? That's quite a nice colour, isn't it? Adrian, you love purple, but green is your favourite. Um, next time, we'll have to do something a bit more green. Right, there we go. Up slightly. It's uh, good. A little bit. Mm. I was like, just a little bit more. Didn't happen. There we go. Nice. Go like that. Uh, place. Actually. Good. Yes, it's over here now. Perfect. All right. And then I'm just going to copy it onto this one for now. I'm only going to concentrate on this particular um, coach for the time being. If I if we have if we're good on time, I'll start doing the other ones as well. Um, copy. Last time on the 1972 stock, I made my own London Underground logo. That's awesome. Did you choose the same colours or did you just like completely um, recreate it authentically? There we go. All right, we've got our doors. Now, looking at the image, they've got a sort of... Well, it's, it's, it's a, like a fluorescent stripe. Um, and it looks a little bit faded. So I might try doing something like that. Um, but what colour do we want? Obviously, I think it should be something bright. Like, that contrasts the purple quite nicely. So maybe an orange. Because there was... A, <laughs> orange and purple, two colours that go beautifully together. Uh, yellow... Any other requests, or are we happy with yellow? Let's have a look. Orange. Let's see, what I'm thinking is, if I do this, we'll start it off in white for now anyway. Um, and then my thought is I'll make it like a thin stripe. Pink. Oh, I was waiting for someone to suggest pink. <laughs> a yellow stripe okay let's do a yellow stripe um we'll do like a really bright yellow shall we right let's Forever pushing the wrong button. Uh, let's make that bigger. Um, orange and purple are the main colours for West Midlands Railway. Are they really? really bright black i don't think you can have a bright black i don't is that even possible oh i keep making it f like chunkier instead of taller all right there we go bit more Alright, 
and then does that go it kind of I can't tell if it curves or not at the top of the door if it does that's something I will um, sort out in a bit um. <laughs> Move that slightly. Yeah. I think I do think it curves slightly, which is a pain if it does. Because I'm not sure how I can get. Actually, I have an idea for that. All uh, right, let's change the color to yellow. But it's like an extremely offensive yellow. Oof. Let's go brighter. Um, let's go. What do we think? That works. Do you think it needs to be wider? I think it does. Um, right, let's go. Ha! Right, let's do that and then. There we go. And then look, yeah, looking at the picture, it sort of, it does just like ever so slightly curve right at the top. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to grab, so there's like a circle. I think that fades. I'm going to try and do that and see if I can get it to work at the top there. Um, see see how that works. Uh, project it first. And then... Uh, place. Right, let's try... Yeah, so I'm going to try this see if we can get a nice curve at the top instead of just the um, instead of just just the square edge we'll see how it goes uh, rotate it get that to work the way I want yeah I wondered if the fade would be a problem because obviously you can see the top of the um, you can see the top of this, this like the rectangle I guess but let's see let's keep going It's not perfect, but it could do. Red would look nice. Yeah, we can do red for the, um, perhaps underneath the, the windows, instead of like the lime green. We could do a nice dark red or, a, or even a bright red. Right, let's see what we can do with this. No, not sure that's going to work in all honesty. It was worth a shot. I was just trying to round off the edge at the top a bit more, but with the fade, I can't really do it, I don't think. Um, yeah, give it one more shot. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Can I rotate it? Yeah, I am rotating it. Um, but you see, then it looks a bit too odd at the top. I 
the other thing I could perhaps do, I get, yeah, it's a tough one. Um, I think if I had all evening to think about it, I'd eventually get it to work, but. Actually, I've had an idea. I have to place that and then copy it. Rotate it round. See if this works. Nah, that's just not working, is it? No, not meant to be. Okay, I'm gonna go back, delete that one. So I'm gonna leave that one there just so you can see that's what the, um, actually. No, I'm going to delete that one. Edit, and I'll just make this, for, for the sake of this stream, I'm just going to make it like a very um, straight edge. Uh, but I'm going to try and figure out how to do that curve in my free time, I think. Because uh, it's going to bug me if I don't. Okay, and let's make it taller. There we go. Perfect. Place it and copy it, edit. Uh, and let's rotate it. Oh, whoops. I was supposed to be pushing shift and instead I moved it sideways while I did it. Pro. So they're actually, they're, I'm quite happy with them now. So yeah, I, I would have liked the rounded top, but never mind. What we need is like a, a graded, like half circle or something, and that would have been absolutely perfect. Um, group them. Copy. And then let's put them over here. Am I a freelance graphic designer? No, a freelance graphic designer would have probably known how to get that shape to work the way I wanted it to. Um, I'm a community manager at Dovetail Games. Um, and basically, um, I've been playing around with the um, livery designer for a while now since I started. And um, just been trying to show everybody how to use it, really. I mean, um, there's quite a lot that I've learned while I was going, um, this, I still don't know everything about it, um, but I'm quite comfortable with it now. Um, but yeah, so that's what I do here. Um, let's have a look. That's all good. Right. So the first door, uh, for anybody wondering why I haven't done that one purple, looking at the image I've got, it's the same colour as, um, there's like a sort of curve so it's it's the same as that color um so i will um we could do that next actually um what color do we want that one so it's it's normally like a very bright green um what would you like um and we're going to do the bottoms of the windows uh sort of red color just like Matt's cat on the stream last week, my tabby cat has decided to come see what I'm up to. Ah, oh, lady stole my heart. Neon green. Trends in World 2, do you keep suggesting neon green for everything? Is that your favourite colour? I'm not going to do green though, uh, just because the original colour is actually green. Um, and so, and what I will actually do is um, looking at the windows um they're sort of curved and they kind of extend the the black of the bottom of the window extends so i will i will do that on here as well um green for the door can't do green any other color but green um 
I will get started on the windows while you decide what colour you want for the front of the train. Let's go front of this one needs a slight curve. There it is. Uh, gold orange. Oof, orange. Yeah, we could do orange. Um, <laughs> pink. <laughs> Rotate it this way. Uh, uh, let's make it a bit smaller. Rotate it a bit more. Uh, yeah, orange, <laughs> orange or pink are the two choices I'm seeing. Um, are you sure? So, um, it's not going to be green, um, because the green is a little bit too similar to the, um, actual colour in real life. Uh, well, it is green in real life. So, um... That's why not green. Uh, orange, pink, pink. Moggy, how about turquoise? I can't remember the colour. I just like the word. Turquoise is actually very similar to this blue. Um, it's just got green hints in it, I guess. That can do for the curve, and then underneath I'm going to have to do another one. Let's place that one, and then... Um, Alright, we'll do... We'll do pink. We'll do pink. Um, let me just finish doing underneath this window first. How much does it need to actually it needs to be quite large underneath it looking at it? Okay, I've completely messed up that shape. Go back to your original shape. does it take to do a livery for the trains oh, takes me ages but I'm uh, quite particular about how I want it to look usually um, bum, bum, bum. let's leave it is actually quite rounded on the image um, and then what I'll do is I'll do like another layer underneath with the red but I am going to try and make this bit here a bit smoother because I'm not very happy with how that looks at the moment um, so let's copy that and edit it. And then um, let's 
and then it around just slightly so it smooths it out a bit. Place that one and then let's put it underneath that one. Oops. <laughs> I moved the wrong one. That was the one I wanted to move. There. That's better. That's better. Um. <laughs> Fraser Vernon said, made my own livery on the 377, trying to recreate Southwestern Railway, and I did it on Xbox, which is hard. To yeah, um, kudos to you, because I've literally, I've been practicing, well, I've been trying to practice with the um, controller, and I'm still a bit rubbish at it. I thought it would be easier, but it's, um, it's actually a lot harder to control than I expected, so no, I'm impressed with that. Right, um, let's group them together and then uh, edit the options project it to the it's gonna project wrong to the other side so I'll mess around with that in a minute I think it's gonna project wrong oh no it projected correctly nice um, okay the front we decided we were gonna do pink big surprise everybody chose pink uh, right so normally, um, looking at it, there'd be a bit of a gap between the window and the door. Um, for this, there it's not going to be much of a gap in all honesty. I'm trying to decide how to make it work. What I might do is actually, I know I've gone and spent all that time doing that lovely curve there, but I might actually have to ruin it to do the pink. Um. Let's have let's have a go. What shape do I want? Um, right. We'll do. Let's go for the big block shape to begin with, uh, just to get this bit done um, and then I'll add another shape so that we can get that nice curve right. um, are we looking for freelance graphic designers at the studio so all of our um, job openings are on our website I think the moderators might actually be able to link you to it um, and that'll let you know what, what positions are currently available at the studio. Um, let's go. Now it's looking like it's wrecking um, the yellow, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it behind that in a moment. Um, I just wanna make sure I've got the right size for it and everything first. Uh, thank you, Moggy, for putting uh, the current vacancies in the chat. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to have to cover up this bit here, even though I spent ages getting it perfect. Um, it's my own fault. Um, and then I'll, I'll do like a sort of uh, curve in it. I hope everybody likes this pink, by the way. It's... Here for now. Um, trying to decide what to do with the front actually. Let's see what happens if I keep going down. Just let me uh, check this out. Let's keep going. 
going down a little bit. Ooh. The annoying thing is it working in my favour for once. Right. Let's place that there. And then move it. There. And move. Now I need to move. Uh, no, not that one. This one. Uh, move it. Move and move, and then what do I want to do here? Okay, let's go back to this one. Edit options, projection. Right, let's project it. Right, that's on the other side now, and then I should hopefully uh, be able to put a like a pink stripe across this bit here everything works i'll be happy now yeah matt will be happy now um it's kind of you ca i can't really do a livery can i without without some pink in it um right let's do another one shape let's go for this one so that and let's go for the pink now guaranteed this is not going to do what I want to do, and it's going to go all down the side of the train. Right. I'm absolutely pushing the wrong button. Interesting, it's working. It's working. Yeah, it's not. I jinxed it. Right, let's. You won't defeat me. Mm. Has it done it? I hate it. Why does it do that to me? Um, okay, I can sort that, right. Um, now I'll post up a livery suggestion. Fabulous livery, livery using just three colours. Go for it, Moggy. Is it a gronk by any chance? But yeah, no, if there's something you want to see me try try and recreate, is I'll use the word try, um, on the stream, um, be it your favourite livery or something, obviously I can never make them exactly the way you're going to want, um, but I can try and do like the similar design and stuff like that so that when you come to making them, uh, you can, you know, you'll know exactly how to do it. Alright, let's edit that one and make it a bit... Which way do I want to go? That way. That actually works better now because it's closer to the window as well. What do we think? That's better, right? Nice. Quite happy with that. Uh, place. So now I need the nice curve. Um, I think I know how I'm going to get this to work. Um, so I think it's this shape here I'm going to need. And then I'm going to want it in the same blue as the rest of the livery. Let's move. Although now I've done that, I can't actually see it moving. That's great. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's rotate it. Is that the correct way? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, the pink line along the bottom normally really annoys me, but it actually, because it's so high up, 
Um, I reckon it's probably going like along here. Yeah, it is. You see, you can see the pink there. Um, but otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh no. Edit. Right, let's go larger. Yum. Wrong button. I will push every incorrect button imaginable, apparently. That's the one I wanted. So there's the... There's the curve, which is currently breaking into the door, which is not acceptable. Let's make it sharper. This is going to take a few minutes before it looks, before you see what I'm actually trying to do. Um, bear with. Um, sometimes it can take me a while to get it to work the way I want it to. Right. I wonder actually it's clipping the door which is annoying me might have to just let it clip the door right um, place that move it so it's Right, end that move, then it's not going to do what I want it to do. Hold on. Where do I want this one? I want it below the pink one. Uh, right this is not behaving the way I want it to I know I know no, I'm gonna do. Um, let's move that one there there we go and then I will color these in the blue and then we have, wait, have I done it the wrong way? Have I done the curve the wrong way? I've done the curve the wrong way. <sighs> the curve needs to be the other way. All right, let's mirror it. Um, all right. That actually might make my life easier in all honesty because it means now I can sort of hide it behind this one right I think yeah so there's my curve <sighs> that's not worked the way I wanted it to I made an oopsie let's see um because, oh, I know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to change the shape. That's annoying. Edit, uh, no, paste, awesome. shape. It needs to be uh, this one. Select. That's frustrating, because look how easy that actually was to, to be, after all that, that is how easy it actually was. Um, yeah. Never mind. Let's um, change it about a bit anyway. 
make it a bit more perfect. Um, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I know. I can't believe I just did that with shape. It was... Ugh. Although it's going to be really hard to try and get it to fit into like that teeny tiny sliver between the door and the window. Um, so because it's obviously the incorrect uh, train, I might have to just let it, um, let it stay like this for now. Um, but yeah, um, you can see if I had more space, you can see where I was going with the shape. So let's leave that as is um, and then edit it. And no, that wasn't what I meant to do. Uh, yeah. Come on. Project it. My, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons tonight. Okay. So, uh, place that, then this one, uh, edit, copy it, edit it, did we want red wasn't it for this, so let's go red, confirm, place it up here, and then let's edit it bit more um, so it would be it actually goes up quite sharply um, up this side what I'll do is um oh it's a shame there isn't much space I might I might spend some more time on this side because there's all that that space so I could do a bit more um, This one is not as perfect as I'd normally like it, I must say. Um, but you see, you see the general idea anyway. All right, let's copy it, edit, and let's move it over. So the middle one. Okay, and then instead of um, London Midland uh, writ written on the the bit underneath the window um i might just put that rail or something uh big gamer says i have a question what is your question i will do my best to answer it if i can um adrian this looks great i wish i could actually use the livery editor as well practice 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 um and you will eventually be able to use it <laughs> What English roots would I like to see? Now, um, that's a dangerous question because um, just because I'd like to see it does not mean it's going to happen. Um, but I would personally, I would like to see uh, Mersey Rail only because I used to ride it quite a lot as a child. Um, so that's, that's the English one I'd like to see. But that does not mean it's going to happen. Uh, it just means that's the one I would choose if I could. Um, right. I want it more rounded on the edge, so I might try place that and then choose another shape. Let's see how this works. Let's go with black. Um, rotate. <laughs> Moggy said the correct answer is any route that has a gronk in. For you, maybe, Moggy. For you. Although I must say, I did actually enjoy driving the gronk. That was, that was a fun stream, that one. I'm struggling to get this editor to do what I want tonight. 
having an off night, I think. Ugh, no. I'm done fighting with that shape. It's not happening. Alright, let's go back to this one. Let's copy it. Edit it. Let's go red. I am going to end up tweaking this so much <laughs> after the stream. I can't leave it imperfect. Oh, that was supposed to go slow, not fast. Um, there we go. Okay, so you currently get the general idea. That one needs to go further up. Um, but that's the... Oh, need to do it on the other side. Actually, I need to move that further up. I can't. I can't not do that. Uh, is it this one here? Let's group them together. Uh, there we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Is that a bit better? No, it needs to go up more. A bit more. There we go. Um. Right ho, and then we'll do. I'll just put the um, nap rail on the side, and then and then I'm probably gonna end the stream after that. Um, but that's the general idea of what we're trying to do. Um, let me mirror these actually. Um, not mirror, project. Uh, how's that look? Hey, that's looking better. And then. Um, just do the other two group and edit the options, project them to the other side as well. Let's have a look. Ah, it's looking good. So, yeah, on the actual um, London Midland one, looking at it, you'd have like obviously, I've currently got like really square edges, haven't I? Um, I'd want more rounded edges. Um, that's probably something I'm going to end up trying to practice now, uh, trying to get the more rounded edges on the windows. Um, so it actually be, ended up being a bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be, which is quite nice. Uh, let's go for nut rail. Where is it? It's a very large end. Uh, place. Let's move it so it's higher up or else I won't be able to see it. Where is it down? Oh, there it is. Um, let's go a bit smaller. Um, let's go here. Place. Uh, um. Oh, actually, looking at it, the um, London Midland one is all in lowercase, so I'm actually going to... I'll do this in lowercase as well. Um, I'll change the N. Right, hold on. It's going to look odd for a minute because the N is capitalised. Uh, where's the N? In case anybody's wondering uh, what nut rail is and you've missed like some of um, the previous streams and things, um, everybody said that I should have my own uh, rail network called nut rail, um, where you get to ride for free but you have to bring your own helmet. Uh, because I'm not very good at uh, stop. Oops, I'm not very good at stopping where I should. Um. If you use the capital U and turn it upside down, that would look really good. Uh, for the for the N, yeah, I'll do that. I'll give that a go in a second. Try the U. 
Let's make it up. I think I over rotated that a bit. Mm, I might make it slightly. Ooh. Oh, I meant to do it slowly and I did it fast. Tonight I have been mixing up shift and control. They're too close together. Um, one makes it go slow and one makes it go fast. So naturally I've been accidentally pushing the, um, the go fast one all night. You know, since doing the um, since doing these streams as well, I understand now why one of the most requested things um, has been more font selection. Uh, it's something I'd actually really like as well, um, or like to see eventually, because uh, the the one font doesn't always do what you want. That's the other thing if you're if you're new to it <laughs> um, don't be afraid of pushing the wrong buttons all the time um, I do it it's infuriating you get used to it uh, place. that T needs to be moved I know that they're all like perfectly in line but supposedly So there's my adaptation on London, London Midland. Obviously we'd have more under here if I had more time or if I had all night to mess about with it. Um, it's all right. Normally I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when I come to this, so I'd like it to be more spot on. Um, but I hope that helps anybody that, that wants to try and create this one. Um, as always, if you have suggestions um, for future livery designers you'd like to tr see me try and create uh, other liveries and stuff, please, please, please um, head over to the forums in suggestions. Um, there's a sticky, stickied thread. Um, pop your suggestions in there. Um, no suggestion is a silly suggestion, but I can't promise that I will do absolutely everything that's requested. Um, I'll just do my best, really. Um, thanks to everybody who joined us tonight and um, a special thanks to class 314 who is in the chat uh, for giving me the many suggestions uh, this afternoon. Um, so I hope everybody enjoyed themselves and uh, thanks for joining me on the stream and I'm not on the stream for the rest of the week I don't think uh, but tomorrow it is the Tuesday night pub quiz um, so don't forget that will be on Twitch only tomorrow. Um, Get your quiz hats on. And JD will be testing your train knowledge. So, good night, everybody. Thanks for joining. <laughs>